What's up, y'all? <laughs> what is up? So, I have a question for a lot of you parents out there. Um, or you so-called parents. Why is it that everybody have your kids but you? How is it possible? Why is it that everybody but you have your kids? I'm talking to the moms and the dads out there. I know a lot of people back in the day used to say, daddy's babies, mommy's babies. But I'm seeing a lot of the same trend going on in the generation that's coming up. And what I mean by that, a lot of these kids are growing up with so much rage, no structure, and just, you know, completely lost. How is it that you as a parent don't see that the environment that you create for your kids will be what is established in society? How is it that you don't see that? Why is that such a struggle? I mean, I don't have kids, but at the same time, it don't take nothing but common sense when you're raising kids to realize that kids have to have structure. Kids have to have parents, not a parent, but parents. And I don't care if the, if the parent isn't an actual parent, but it requires that a child has more than just one parent aunties, uncles, mentors. I mean, society has to raise your kids because the structure will always be the same, that it takes a clan to raise a child because you can't do it on your own. It's not possible. But how is it? How is it that you don't have your kids personally yourself? I want to talk about that topic today because there are a lot of parents out here in this world You're laying down, you're having babies, but your babies is with everybody else but you. And you think it's cool for you to be taking trips. You think it's cool for you to be doing, living your life, doing whatever you want, whenever you want to and everything else, but you don't have your kids. Your mother either have your kids, your aunties either have your kids, cousins have your kids, strangers have your kids. Why don't you have your kids or kid, whatever? Why don't you have the babies that you laid down for? Why is it so hard for a lot of you parents to wake up and realize that if you're going to lay down and have sex for for these babies, that you need to raise your babies? It's a lot of kids out here. They get bounced around. They get put in foster care and everything else. And y'all don't know who to point the finger to or who to blame at this point. But I root it back to the actual parents. How is it that you make a decision to bring babies into this world and then you still only think about yourself? And I'm not just talking about the mothers. I'm talking about the fathers too. How is it that you don't care that your child is eating, is breathing, is living? How is it that you don't care? Why is it that you don't care? Because if you care that much about the children that you have, Nobody else will be raising your kids. Society would not be raising your kids. There are some damn good parents out here, but then you got those selfish parents out here. And I hope this video reached somebody out here today. Like, seriously, you really need to look yourself in the mirror and ask, why is it that everybody is raising my kids but me? Oh, I need my time too. First of all, Your time become obsolete when you make a decision to lay down and bring another life into this world, if you didn't know. And it don't take you to be a parent to understand that. Just like dogs can have puppies, but that doesn't mean that puppies can't be raised by other people. It's sad. It really is. It's it's sad how there's so many children in foster care and y'all don't know who to blame. Y'all don't know who to put the blame on. But y'all need to root it back to the parents who are out here being irresponsible. You lose those kids, then you lay down, you go have some more kids. Excuse me? You go lay down and have some more kids that you can't even take care of. And then you only think about yourself. Y'all keep saying that society failed some of these children out here, but I feel like this, 
It's their parents that's failing them and they failing and they don't care. And they're not trying to make sure that these children get a right uprooted upraising and or anything. They just do whatever. Dropping your kids off just so you can go on vacation. Like you really need vacation like that. Way I see it is when you take a vacation, you should be taking your kids on vacation because they're yours. You laid down for them. You had sex for them. You brought them into this world. But y'all want to sit here and blame everybody else for the things that these children are out here doing. But y'all don't want to point it at the parents. I'll give you a prime example. Because <laughs> this is a controversial conversation. So if you can't take it, my advice is don't even hop on it. This child that just got killed by this police officer. Did y'all see the dad and what he did? But you know what I noticed too? The dad went to go kick the girl that was on the ground instead of going after his child. Instead of being the shield for his child. It's so many people to blame. But I, I want to root it back to the parents. Because if you if your children are in foster care and you can show up to fight, you can show up to make sure your kids are good. You can show up to, to calm your, your child down. You can show up to those visits that they when they when they need you the most, you can show up for that. But you show up to fight. I bet if it was the mother that did that, the conversation would still be going. If the mother was on the scene and actually kicked that girl while the police was shooting her child. They would not let that rest. I have not really seen too many posts about the father and what he did. People just was like, oh, he a coward, this, this, and this. But I haven't seen nothing else. I have not seen not one damn thing else about that father who child is in foster care, was in foster care, 16 years old, still needing guidance. And the only thing you wanted to do was show up to help her fight instead of showing up to take your child away. Or trying to fight the system to let them know that your child wasn't safe. It's sad that she still had both parents and neither one of them were fighting for her. But we as the world, we're pointing the finger at everybody else but these parents. Now the parents are in the in the news speaking up on, on the, the, the basis of their child. But my thing is, where was you at when this child needed you? This child is fighting and, and you know, has so much rage. Because she's not being raised in a structured home. But where were you? Now you show up? Now that it, it then became national news and everything else, now it's all over social media. Now you want to be a parent? Now you want to talk about how your child went through this and that? It starts at home. It starts with the parents. Don't lay down and have children if you can't afford it. And I'm not saying that children come with manuals, but if you know damn well you struggling, think about it like this. If you had to go to Dollar Tree or Dollar General just to find out if you was pregnant to get the pregnancy test, then obviously you're not going to be able to afford no child. So it's, it's better to make a decision to just go ahead and sacrifice your little five ten dollars to go get condoms instead of sitting here and doing the things that you're doing. And then allowing the system to raise your kids. And you know the system don't have no structure. The system is a is a basis of it is what it is. Children going to come in and just get whatever structure is offered to them, which is not fair. It's not fair. If you're going to sit here and have kids take care of your kids, stop having everybody else raise your kids. Shouldn't nobody be able to raise your kids like you raise your kids. If your child has this much rage going on, it's because they get it from you. It's because they get it from the environment that they're in. And it don't take you to be a parent to realize that. What it takes is for you to understand that children are growing up and they're going to become who they see in the environment that they come from. And if you don't want that to happen, my advice is to get a hold of your kids. Love on your kids and take care of your kids. Show them a better way. And remember, when you get upset and you get into a tussle or anything like that, your kids are watching how you de de-escalate a situation. So guess what? That's what they will do. They will react how you react. And I realized that at a young age. I, I have nieces and nephews that I grew up with. If they see me out here getting all jazzy and cursing people out and everything else, they're going to do the same thing. They will do the same thing. 
when it comes time for them to have to de-escalate a situation and not going to know how to. Here we are as black people, we get out here and we argue over the pettiest things. We argue over the dumb things and then and then we expect our children to do better, but we're not any better. It starts with us, the leaders. Your child is only acting and reacting how you act and react to things. When you're in rage, they're doing the same thing. And it, the only time we want to sit here and praise our kids is when we sit here and see, oh, okay, they got they did get good grades, so they want to take so people want to take a rep for that. They have good grades, or or if now you know the truth when somebody dies. That's sad. That's really sad. You got to take control of your kids. You have to be that leader for your kids. Nobody can do that. And for you new mothers out here, it's just so sad to me. Y'all rather pop your pussy on the internet right in front of your child than to get your ass up. And teach your children something new. Dropping your damn kids off at everybody's house. Everybody ain't the same. And you don't know who's touching your children. A baby can't talk. I'm sorry. When I was growing up, my mother wouldn't dare allow us to sleep over nobody's house. Godparents, cousins, nobody's house. If you can't talk, you can't tell me what's wrong with you. Ain't no way I'm dropping my child off at nobody's house. I don't trust none of y'all. That's how my mother raised her kids. And then not only that, my mother, she has six girls. She wouldn't dare allow us to sleep over nobody's house. Like she would tell us, I don't trust nobody with my kids. It may be family, it may be friends, but I'm going to tell you like this, it'd be the closest people to you doing shit to your kids and you don't even know. And then you wondering why your child is so angry. You wondering why your child is, is full of rage. Because you don't know. They're not talking. They've been threatened. You don't know. You don't know what some of these kids go through. And like I said, it don't take me to be a parent to know this shit. What it takes is for y'all to realize if you want to have kids... Realize that your children should not be over everybody's damn house and everybody's child face or everybody's face because everybody don't raise their kids the same. What you don't think is fast, some people do, and what some people don't what some people don't think is fast, you do. Some of these kids are being exposed to sex at a young age. Some of these kids are being touched at a young age. Some of these kids are having a battle with being grown and wondering where they're going to get their next meal from because their parents is too busy out here eating hot Cheetos, washing their pussy in the, and they dicks in the sink and then trying to find a next sneaky link. Not even realizing your child see you. They see what you are doing. You have to raise your children better. You have to do better. As a black community, we have to do better. And then y'all want to sit here and always try to point the finger, point the finger, point, point the fucking finger at yourself. If you don't want to raise your kids, then you don't have no fucking say on how these kids get raised. And that's what leads to a lot of kids in society being easily influenced to pick up a gun, being easily influenced to pick up a knife. And for the last three days, I literally have been sharing Melanie Lyon on my page because she didn't get no controversy uh, post. She didn't get no real nothing. Like they really had not even spoken on her death. And if you don't know who she is, go look her up. Melanie Lyons. I've been sh- I've been sharing it on my page nonstop. And it's the reason why I keep sharing it. Because she went through the same situation. We scream and defund the police, right? And I don't stand, like I said, I don't stand on nobody's side. But my thing is this. We scream defund the police because the police, when they show up, they don't do nothing, right? Go look up that story about Melanie Lyons. Melanie L-Y-O-N-S. Lyons. She was a a Louisiana teenager. She was in a Walmart and she was ambushed by three other girls. One of the girls took a knife and stabbed her right through her heart. And she was 13 years old, the one that's killed her. No one is speaking on it. No one has spoke on it. But the police, they, and, and get this, the person that killed her, she went three days before she was arrested. She went live on Facebook, the 13-year-old. And guess what else? The 13-year-old child was black. She was black. 
And they say, oh, what race got to, because y'all always make it about race. Y'all always make it about race. She was black. She went live and everything else. Y'all want to share everybody else and what they doing. But my thing is this, where was her story? Where's her news line? Where's her keep the peace protest? Stop the violence protest. Where was it? Because it didn't exist. We have to do better. I have nieces and nephews and I wouldn't dare allow them to sit here and think that it's okay to go and fight somebody because they're upset at them. We have to learn how to use our words and talk to one another like adults. Because as you can see, we're dying in these streets from simple shit. Simple common sense. I wanted, I wanted to speak on this yesterday, but I really needed to get my, my thoughts together. I really needed to formulate what I wanted to say and how I wanted to say it. Because a lot of people feel like I'm very controversial and everything when I speak. But I be telling the straight facts. I be telling the straight truth. But that's just how I feel, y'all. Y'all got to get a hold of your kids. You got to love on your kids. And you got to realize you cannot drop your kids off at everybody's damn house to stay no nights, no none of that shit. Take your kids with you. Take your kids with you. And anything that you do that is adult-wise, don't, uh, don't expose that shit to your kids so early. Y'all have a good day. I'm out.